Well, uh, not very surprised at the decision itself. France has very strict privacy laws, and the photographs that had been published back in 2012 in Closer magazine were clearly taken while the royal couple was on a personal family holiday. So there was no way of saying that this was in the public domain. So it was clear that the magazine was going to be found guilty of invasion of privacy. It's close to the maximum of what you would see for this kind of a case in France. What's interesting about the amount they asked for, which was a million and a half, is that it actually starts to look a little bit like the kinds of damages you see in the United States. And many people were surprised, and they thought this was an attempt on the part of the royal family and their advisors and lawyers to actually go for an American-style award. The French court clearly decided not to award a million and a half, which really would have been completely disproportionate in the context of the French legal system. So that was probably the most interesting part of today's decision, was the fact that the court did not follow the request of the royal couple in terms of the damages which they were awarded. So I think your questions covered what, what we can say right now. Had the award been for a million and a half euros, then obviously the economic analysis for Closer would have changed. And that raises the interesting point as to whether the French court was trying to keep damages moderate so as to not disturb the economics, the difference between what a magazine may have to pay and what somebody whose privacy was violated should receive. And I actually believe that the court did keep that in mind when it awarded 50000 to each member of the royal couple rather than the million and a half which was being sought.